The attribute directives in Angular are special directives that can modify the behavior of HTML elements, attributes, properties, or components. They do listen to certain events or conditions and make the changes accordingly. Angular offers different built-in attribute directives, but the commonly used ones are the ng class, which adds and removes a set of CSS classes. We have the ng style, as the name already indicates, this will add or remove a set of HTML styles, and the ng model, which you have already used when we talked about the two-way data binding, is used to add two-way data binding to an HTML form element. Now, Neil, let us just go to the home components. For that, I'll just open the Explorer and then go to home folder. And then here you can see the home.component.html and also the home.component.ts. In the HTML file, I'll just scroll up in here. I'll just go to the beginning of this file. And then inside the role, I'm just going to add an h1 tag or maybe an h2 tag. And then to this one, we are going to add a class. Now the class in here can be bootstrap class. For example, I can just type in here text danger, which is going to make the text red. And then just type in here, this is just a sample text. Then I'll save the changes, I'll go back to the app. You can see up here that I have this red text. Now, let us see how we can use the ng class to pass the class value to the h2 tag. So for that in here, instead of using class, what I can do is that I can just go to the home.component.ts and then you define a property, Let's say h2 CSS props is equal to, and this can be text and then danger. Now let us go to the HTML file. And then in here now, instead of using class, you can just type ng class. And then you use the name, which is going to be h2 CSS props. Now, if I save the changes and just go back to the app, you can see that the text in here is still in red. Now let us go back one more time. In here now, if you want to load uh, based on a certain condition, you want to load the class. So for example, if this is a successful message, then you want to have this in, in green. Otherwise you want to have it in red. You can just come in here. I'll create another property. Is success. Just going to set it to false. And then I'm going to change the text danger name in here to success color or actually error color because this is red and success color is going to be so success color is going to be text success which is going to make our text green let us also change this one to be true now here you can add the conditions so for example if is success then you want to load the success color, otherwise the error color. So because we have set the success in here to be true, it means that the text in here is going to be green. So I'll just save the changes and go to the app. And you can see that the color of this text is changed to green.